Hi, hello, my name is Carly and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here I like to talk about books, life, and stuff. And today I thought I would do a short and sweet little video about the books that are just screaming at me to read during this fall season. It's like first week into September, but we're gonna do this. And these are the few books that I want to read. I'll probably read more, but these are the ones that I'm really hoping to get to. So we're going to start first off with the one that I've already started. I don't have the desk cover on it, but it is The God of the Woods by Liz Moore. I feel like I've been seeing this around. It's definitely a newer one, but it's about, it takes place in like the 70s and you get some time periods beforehand, but it's about this girl who has gone missing at a summer camp and she is from the family that owns the land that this camp takes place on and then like a few years prior her brother had gone missing in the, the same area so it's I'm trying to figure out what happens. I don't typically read like mysteries or anything but this one so far has kept me entertained. I'm about up to the third section so that's about 130 pages in and I've been really enjoying it. It's a very easy read like I can sit and read quite a bit of a few pages of this pretty easily. So this will definitely be finished this fall season, but something, even though it's taking place at a summer camp, something about it just makes me think fall. Probably because this is what the uh, cover looks like. But that's book one. Next book that I would really want to get to is Jade War by Fonda Lee. This is the second book in the, is it the, it's the Green Bone Sega. This is the second book. Um, I just finished the first book. Really, really enjoyed it. The first one follows like three siblings in that are part of a mafia um, and a war kind of starts between the rivals and there's some magic. It feels kind of hard to explain, but I really liked it. I feel like I had the opposite reaction in that I really liked the beginning of the first book more than I liked the ending, but overall I enjoyed it all and intrigued to see where the story so I definitely want to get to this. The next book I have on this list is Business Casual by B.K. Borson. This is the fourth book in the Love Light Farm series uh, and each book follows a different character and their different romance. Romance seems a little odd for fall but um, each book in this series takes place during different seasons and so I've been trying to read each book during its corresponding season and this is the newest and I think maybe the final one that takes place supposed to be like fall season. So we'll be reading a fall romance during the fall season. I'm kind of excited for this one. I read like the first page when I first picked it up um, but we're following Charlie and Noah and yeah I'm hoping I enjoy this one. Up next this one this one just screams like fall to me like I need to read this during the fall during like a rainy rainy day but it is finally The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. Honestly, not 100% sure what this is about except a Holmes and Watson style detective duo. I'm down. But look at this cover. Like this, this just screams like fall to me. Something about this screams fall and fantasy and this cover are just like fall to me. So I really, really, really want to read this during the fall. And then the next kind of physical book I have sitting here is Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. This has been sitting on my shelf for a couple months now and I haven't picked it up yet but like I guess yeah it literally says on here a cozy fantasy. I don't know that I've actually read a cozy fantasy before. Not even 100% sure what this is about. It says tea. I kind of picked it up cozy fantasy tea. I'm kind of nervous to try cozy fantasy because if you've seen anything in my reading um, I typically like probably more high fantasy like I definitely read not high fantasy but more non cozy fantasies and my cozy fantasy to me I don't know if it's gonna be my thing but I want to try plus I own this book so I want to try to read all the books that I own that I physically own there we go those are the words I'm looking for but I really want to read this and see if I like it plus it's got these blue edges but I don't know that I actually really like the blue edges it was just what Target had when I picked this book up but I think what is this 
All Reyna and Keontae want is to open a bookshop that serves tea while firelight drifts between the rafters, but Reyna works as one of the queen's private guards and Keontae is the most powerful mage in existence. Leaving their lives isn't so easy. But after an assassin takes Reyna hostage, she decides she's thoroughly, thoroughly done risking her life for a self-centered queen. Meanwhile, Keontae has been waiting for a chance to flee responsibility, all the better that her girlfriend is on board. Sweet. Sapphic. Together they settle in Tawny, a town nestled in the icy tundra near Dragon County, and open the shop of their dreams. What follows is a cozy tale of mishaps, mysteries, and murderous green throwing the realm's biggest temper tantrum while these two women discover just what they mean to each other and the realm. That sounds cute, but again, there's still like this hesitancy in me that I'm just not 100% sure if this is going to be for me. But we'll try. That's the whole thing. I like trying new things. There's a couple more books, yeah. But another one that I think I really want to try to get to this year this fall season is going to be the dead guy next door um by lucy score i think i know this is like a romance but i think our main character can see dead people like a psychic riley her mom is convinced riley must be clairvoyant just when things seem like they can't get worse it's so hot he should be a legal private investigator shows up on his doorstep looking for the guy next door who turns up murdered okay sounds like a romance with a little bit of a mystery and some like paranormal elements. Interesting. Also, this is my friend's book. I've had it for a few months. Maybe I should give it back to her. But like paranormal mystery, that, that that's October. That is Halloween. Like, let's read. Let's, let's read this. <laughs> but I've been wanting to read this. I just haven't felt like the right time. But this is feeling like the right time to read this book. And then the last book I have on my sort of wish list to read is... Magic City by Maria V. Snyder. This is the second book and I guess it's the Chronicles of Ischia. I can't remember how to say this, but the first book is Poison Study. And I listened to the first book a few months ago now, um, like May or June, something like that. June or July? I can't quite remember. But it was sort of at the beginning of summer I listened to the first book. Um, and this whole series I can get on Kindle Unlimited and I'd really like to continue it or at least read the next couple books, but I haven't felt in the mood to. But now that we're getting shorter days, darker nights, and rain is more likely to come, like this is probably the last weekend of like really nice weather for where I live, and um, this is now feeling like the right time to continue this series. The first book we follow, Yelenia. Yelenia. Um, she is set to be executed, but right before she's executed, she is given the choice to either be executed or become the king's poison taster and so she chooses to become the king's poison taster and what follows is her getting used to life in the castle as following her as she kind of realizes there's more going on than is has been necessarily seen and yeah and so I just I would like to continue and see what else goes on what else happens those are the what is that one two three four five six seven books that i hope to get to in the next like three months we'll see we'll see because my reading has been sort of slow and i might be in the mood for some more because i'm more definitely more of a mood reader but those those are like i said what is that seven eight what did I, what number did i just say books that i want to try to get to um, i'm really excited about all these books see that's my issue right now is that i'm really excited about books and reading the books but not about actually like reading the books, if that makes sense. Like I just want to consume these stories, but I want them to already be in my head. I don't want to take the time to sit and read them. I want them in my mind. There's not enough hours in the day for anything right now. That is my fall TBR for this year. Um, and I hope to get through these books and yeah. Uh, if you've read any of these, let me know what you thought. And if your TBR is, there's a few on here that you want to read or new other ones that you think I might be interested in or that you're planning to read. I would love to hear about them. Um, Cause I love to hear about what people are reading and anyway, yeah, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, um, night, morning, whatever, whatever time it is when you're watching this, I hope it is great. And I will see you again with another video soon. Bye.